Sometimes you need that special tool for that special job. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Today, I'm talking about the Hornady OAL gauge. Very handy to determine what your bullet seating depth needs to be to be touching the lands, the driver of the bullet, to be 10 off, 20 off, 30 thousandths off, whatever distance you want to be in relation to where that bullet is going to start engaging the rifling. The way it works is there's a modified case, there's the bullet that you're going to be loading and the gauge itself. This forms the assembly. You stick this in the chamber of your rifle, loosen the clamp, and then push on the gray rod until the bullet protrudes just far enough to start touching the rifling. Then you tighten the clamp. When you pull the assembly out, the bullet might stick in the rifling. You'll take a plastic rod or a cleaning rod and tap it back out. Put it back in the OAL gauge. You've preserved that depth. Uh, setting here with the clamp and the gray plastic rod. Now you can take precise measurements to figure out exactly either what your cartridge overall length would need to be in terms of equivalent or the base to O drive if you have a bullet comparator tool right at the lens. Now you can make adjustments on your bullet seating die to get exactly how far off or into the lens you want to be. And I mentioned this uses a modified case. So basically the case is bored out from the back and it's threaded. And the threading is 5 16 by 36. So I went on to, I think it was eBay. I've had this for about 10 years or so. 5 16 by 36 right hand. I got a couple of these and calculated what you need is an M size drill. An M size drill comes in at 293 thousandths. I've used a couple different sizes. The M works well. And so what I want to show you in this video is how on your lathe, and this video could be called why you need to own a metal lathe. I could probably have 40, 50, 100 videos with that title. But all we need is a size or die and a good collet. We're going to drill it. We're going to tap it. I want to show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is to take a three quarter inch wrench. This is just for Hornady dies, which I'm using here. We're going to remove the, the decapping rod. So I'm going to work that out. This uses the zip spindle. I'm just going to quickly remove that. We're going to remove the lock ring. And then I've got a 7 8 collet here. This is a 5C collet and a 5C collet chuck. A very, very handy thing to have for your lathe. And this can be a little stubborn sometimes. Sometimes I'll, I'll need to take the collet completely out and then put this knurled section in because it's very tight. Okay. And now we can put the collet back in. Sometimes the die will just slip straight in, but other times you have to manhandle it just a little bit. I like to use collets because they grip really well and they run really concentric. Okay, so let's see how well that's going to run. That looks dead on. The cartridge I'm working with today is 300 PRC. This is a once fired case from my 300 PRC full custom. I'm just gonna check my bullet slip. The bullet's gonna slip really nicely in there. So that'll, that'll work well. I'm just gonna insert that into the sizer, give it a good push. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit here, just to kind of drill out the primer and get things started to make sure that uh, we're looking good. Okay. Bring that up close in, start the spindle, and just gently drill out that primer. This doesn't have to be totally, totally exact. We've just got to get close. So if I needed to get exact, I would use a boring bar here, but I've had really good luck with just drilling these out. Here's our M drill. Take it nice and slow. Okay. All the way through. Okay, so now we're at the appropriate diameter. Now we need to chuck up this 
5 16 by 36 tab. And I got a trick to show you in just a second. Okay, and I'm gonna go down into low range here. That should do just fine. We'll get a little bit of oil here so that we can uh, lubricate things just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave the tailstock kind of free floating and just gently push it in. Got a tiny bit of wobble, but that's fine because it's just going to cause the gauge to be very slightly cockeyed. It's not gonna contact anything, so it's not a problem in this case. And this is the trick, okay? So now you want to lock the tailstock to the bed and just gently pull on the quill here. And what that does is it pulls the case out like an extractor, beautiful. Otherwise it can be a little bit difficult to get out of the die. There we go. Let's give this a little bit of a wipe down and see how that's gonna thread onto our gauge. Okay. So there it is, our 300 PRC modified case. This has been fire formed in my rifle. This is gonna line up perfectly. I'm gonna get that two lance distance dialed in, which is great because I'm working on load development for the full custom 300 PRC right now. And it's great to be able to take care of this kind of thing in-house. I don't have to order anything. I don't have to wait for anything. So again, you need a metal lathe. And if you don't have a metal lathe, find one at work that you could use. Find one from a friend or a family member that you could use because it's just a handy capability to have. Now, make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're gonna wanna see the 300 PRC load development. I've also got 6.5 PRC coming up, 7.62 by 39, six millimeter Creedmoor, so much good stuff. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.